back to the Top Shark Radio Show. Great to have you with us today. We are on the road this week. I want to thank our good friend, my good friend Mary Walters, uh, for filling in yesterday. Did a terrific job, and it was uh, sort of fun listening to you guys calling in as I was uh, driving well over the speed limit across the state of Mississippi and Alabama into um, into Georgia. Uh, by the way, there is a very important piece of legislation that is moving through the Congress, and a number of Republicans, more than 400, have signed a letter calling on lawmakers to enshrine same-sex marriage into law. And we are expecting this vote to hit the Senate floor sometime between now and the end of the month. But among the uh, leaders, former uh, former Republican National Committee chairman and uh, the re-election campaign manager for President Bush, Ken Melvin, and they're saying that that marriage needs to be um, enshrined, gay marriage needs to be enshrined into law. More than 400 Republicans now supporting that effort. And we already know several U.S. senators say they will sign on to that. Uh, but the concern from our friends at Alliance Defending Freedom, and they've fired off a letter to lawmakers saying, hey, wait a second, if you guys pass this legislation, it's going to open up Pandora's box. And Alliance Defending Freedom is saying that uh, what that bill will do is make marriage anything good. So if you want to get married to three people or four people or five people, you're going to be able to do that if this bill becomes law. But again, I go back to this issue, and I know there are people on the LPGC side, and they said that, you know, well, that's just not true. Why would we do something like that? Well, why would you not? I mean, we've, the Supreme Court has already redefined what God defines. The Supreme Court has already decided that marriage is, is a heck of a lot, and that marriage is a heck of a lot more than just a man and a woman. So, at this point, why why would the LGBT people try to stop anybody else from redefining marriage? You know, the LGBT crowd wanted to redefine marriage, and they got their wish from the Supreme Court. So why now would the LGBT crowd say, well, yeah, you, you people who want to get married to your laptop computer, uh, you're not going to be allowed to do that, because that, that's a mockery. Well, you know what? A lot of people say that uh, the mockery has already been made. So again, my question is, what right does anybody have now to redefine marriage that's already been redefined? 844-747-8868. That's a telephone. And I know what I'm just saying. I mean, if, if the LGBT crowd can redefine marriage, why can't the people who want to get married to their laptop computers? And I bring that up, by the way, as an example, because a guy actually trying to get married to his laptop computer. I don't know. I don't think it worked out. I think somebody got a virus. Very unfortunate. Let's go to the phone. Danny and George. 